Hello everyone, I'm Payman and I'm Matilda. We are here in Senegal and now we're gonna to review and show you our bicycles. We have chosen the most durable and reliable component available in market and we have built these bicycles ourselves and they can handle pretty tough conditions. We have cycled with these bikes from Finland to Senegal during the last year and our trip will continue for at least nine more years. But we think these bikes will handle it quite well. Let's start with the frame. On this bike we have a Farad Manufacture TX400 frame. It's a pretty stiff and a pretty tough frame. I'm really happy with it. So far with no problem have handled my weight and all the luggage and that means something around maybe 110 to 120 kilogram. I chose the Shirley Long Haul Tracker steel frame and it's known to be a very comfortable touring frame which I agree with. The tubing is a little bit thinner than on the VSF, so it wobbles a bit when it's heavy loaded, but that also means that it's a very comfortable ride. We chose a 9-speed transmission system because spare parts are quite available around the world. Our cassette is a Shimano Acera cassette, which has proven to be very durable. We run a Connex 9-speed chain, which we very much like. You can also follow the chainware on our website. We will link it in the description. Our crankset is also Shimano Acera. It's 8-speed because we couldn't find a 9-speed nice square taper crankset, but it has been running without any issue. Our bottom bracket is a square taper from SKF, which has 10 years warranty, so we are very happy about that. There has not been any issue with it. We have MKS touring pedals, which we chose because they look very durable and they have cup and cone bearings. One of the cones has got dented during the trip, but otherwise we are quite happy with them. If we would choose a pedal now, we would choose something with a little bit of a bigger platform. And these straps are our own design and it's really nice to have. We like to cycle with our normal shoes, so click pedals are not for us. Our derailers are also Shimano, they are Diora XT. The rear derailleur is a 9-speed shifter, so it matches the cassette. The front derailleur is also Diora XT. It's a 10-speed one because we couldn't find a 9-speed, but we have just winded the cage a little bit and it hasn't cost us an issue. We also use a friction shifter in front, which means that we can adjust exactly where we want it to be, so we can avoid chain wrap, which we really like. Our shifters are Shimano Dura Ace Bar and shifters with the friction as I mentioned in front and in the back so you have the index option or then friction. We have it on the index because we have the 9 speed shifter so it matches but we could change all of our drive trend to a 10 speed or an 8 speed system without having to change the shifter itself. To mount them on our handlebar we use the PAL component clamp. Unfortunately the design of the PAL component is not perfect so we have made some small adjustment to be able to mount our shifters with the original bolt which is a very important for the shifters to work properly and we have an air sound horn which is basically a bottle you fill up with air with your bicycle pump through the valve here and then you have a really loud horn that catches the attention of the rest of the traffic because a driver doesn't hear your little bell on the bike and for us to notice the cars we have the Busch Miller mirror which is very durable it's metal here and uh, very easy to adjust and it's really a lifesaver really recommend having a mirror on your touring bike we have the Ergotec butterfly handlebar which we are really happy with and also we added some ergon grips which make it even more comfortable and they also have horns so we have very many positions for our hands which is nice if you are a long day in the saddle our stems are Ergotec High Pike, but that of course depends on your riding position and everything, so that's a very personal component. Our headset is the No Tread Set from Chris King. We chose it because it has a very good reputation and it should last for a long time. We both have Brooks leather saddles. I have the Ladies B17 and it's mounted on an Ergotec seat post, which we chose because it has two bolts, so it makes it a little bit more durable than a one bolt seat post. My saddle also is a Brooks Saddles B17 Imperial, which just this hole here in the middle makes it Imperial. This saddle has a tension straps and we need to make sure always there is enough tension in those. So far no problem with the saddles. They are very durable. Just only downside is basically you need to be always covering it when it rains and overnight if there is a condensation. And seat post is a Thompson Elite seat post with a two bolt which is supposed to be very durable and has been very durable. This frame VSF TX400 has a pretty uncommon 
seat post size Thompson was the only one which was making the right side seat post for this frame we have a Shimano XC rim brakes we choose them because they're easy to service spare parts are available all around the world they are just reliable they definitely stop the bicycle in a rain downhill uphill no matter what and as you can see the levers also are the RXT our wheels are 26 inch wheels we chose 26 inch because they are very durable and 26 inch wheel is available all around the world we build these wheels ourselves with the help and the guidelines of bus shop in Helsinki really big thanks to them wheels has been working very very good with zero problem but let's check the details of these wheels our rear hub is Shimano LX 36 hole hub we chose this hub because it is simple and durable it has a cup and cone bearing system which we can service it ourselves no problem also the free hub is made from steel and it's compatible with 8 9 and 10 speed cassette that gives us really flexibility if for example in a country we cannot find the 90 speed cassette we can change the cassette and our drivetrain to 80 speed and with our friction shifters no problem we can run at 8 speed perfectly our spokes are DT Swiss Alpine 3 spokes they are very durable our nipples are DT Swiss brass nipples and our rim is a Rude Andra 30 CSS rim the brake surface of this rim is supposed to last at least 60,000 km to be honest we never heard anyone have managed to finish them so maybe they last even longer and hours after 10,000 km cycling including I think 3,000 km in Sahara with all those sands doesn't show anywhere absolutely zero wear so that's really incredible our brake pads are cool stop brake pads specifically designed for a CSS rims and they're supposed to last between 10 to 20,000 and these ones they have a almost 10,000 kilometer and they don't look like they're gonna to wear out soon our tires are Schwerble Marathon Plus Tour. We had only three flat tires in the last 10,000 km, but the reason was the tire didn't have enough pressure. Our front dynamo hub is Sun 28. It has a very durable SKF sealed bearing and it doesn't require any service. We have been very happy with it. Our front light is Sun Edelux 2 and we put it just here because it's really a safe place and it doesn't attract any attention also. Our backlight also is from Sun. It's a small light and works really good. Our USB charger is Igaro D1. It has been performing really good. It's pretty light and small. When we cycle around 15 km per hour, it produces quite a good, uh, good electricity, but lower than that, it's okay, but we like for charging more our solar panels when there is a sun. This is the switch of the Igaro, so we can switch between the light and charging our phone or whatever device we are charging. The Igaro D1 is totally waterproof, but the USB ports are not waterproof, so we added this bicycle tube. And at the night, to avoid condensation, we just roll this up like this and we put the bicycle tube around it and that's it, done. Our rear racks our Tubus logo racks and we haven't had any issue with them they are really durable and they work really well and they have a five years warranty our front racks are surely nice racks we are very happy with them they are very durable but they are heavier if you compare to Tubus low rider for example the main reason we choose these ones because there's a platform and we could build this basket we can put some fruits and banana and whatever here it's very handy we really like it and the next is our mud guards they are SKS mud guards we try to pull them up as much as possible so there's enough space here when we are in a dirt roads in a rainy season it would create a less problem for us we really like to have a mud guard we don't want all the sand and the dirt from a front and back wheel gets into our chain and just wears out our chain and drivetrain these are our bottle cages this bottle cage is a salsa anything cage we are really happy with it just only we had to change the straps to these ones the original straps are just pain they're just hanging all around and really difficult to put it on and off our other bottle holders these are from SGS cycles XL bottle holder they are almost fitting Nalgene bottles but we had to a little bit adjust it and pull it back 
but as you can see it's no problem we also did put these straps here so they don't fall off here we couldn't fit a big bottle this is a standard size SKS top cage it's made out of plastic but so far no problem originally we mounted kickstands on our bikes but they weren't really working because our bikes were just too heavy they started to move around and hurt the frame so we ended up changing into the click stands which we are very very happy with these stands take almost any amount of weight we haven't been able to overload them and uh, it's very light and small like this and then it falls down I have cracked this because I have parked it on soft ground which is an absolute no-no and completely my fault uh, but otherwise it would fall down to this size and we have fixed it here with just a fixing piece for a tent pole so it's very easy to fix also if you've just found an outdoor shop and they will be able to help you so what we do to avoid this cracking is that we carry a small piece of wood where we have carved a place for the stand so if the ground is very soft like now when it's only sand we can just put the wood there and lean the bike down when you park your bike you also need to engage your brakes with a piece of bungee cord around your handlebar and this is good to have even if you don't have a click stand because sometimes when you put your bike somewhere your front wheel just wants to roll away so this helps also when you lean your bike against a wall or whatever so really recommend doing that so these were all the components on our bicycles we also have a list on our website with more details, so we link that in the description if you want to check it out. The total cost for these components is somewhere around 3,500 euros, but we wanted to step in and clarify that you definitely don't need to buy a 3,000 euro bike to go bicycle touring. That's not the case at all. Yeah, Adventure is more is about the wheel and the positive attitude and just going for it. So basically, if you're going for a short trip, you can use even an old mountain bike, just it needs to have a right fit for you and a good saddle. That's all you need. Also, the point of our gear reviews is not to encourage consumption, but instead we want to help you find the best equipment for you when you are looking to replace something that's broken or when you're getting into a new hobby. Just to find what fits your need and something that will last you for many years. So, what do you think about our choice of components? Do you agree with it? Do you have any experience with these components? And also, please let us know in the comments what gear would you like us to review next? Before you go, you can give us a thumbs up or a thumb down. And also, if you subscribe to our channel, that would be lovely and you won't miss the next videos coming during next nine years. Here are some links to our other vlogs and the button to subscribe to our channel. We hope to see you again soon. Bye bye. Bye bye. See you.